Welcome to the podcast, Jeremy and Winston. How are you, lad? 100%, but yeah. all good. <laughs> now, for full disclosure, as we're recording this, it's now November, uh, but by the time this goes out, it's now January, so it's like a weird kind of time travel thing that we're doing here. But, Jeremy, you're actually over in sunny Northern Ireland at the moment. Yeah, I, use, I don't know if I could call it sunny. No. <laughs> <laughs> moist. It's moist. Uh, yeah, I came over for a... Uh, uh, so joined up with uh winston again um for this next season we're playing we're both playing in the states with dunedin and oh, then yeah. uh, i'm coming over here and and uh playing with cleveland memorial who on the cleveland you so you know. call in the guys then yeah so you have know. you had a practice yet at all with the guys and something like that yeah yeah he's had a, a practice yesterday it was actually a good constructive practice uh rob it was only Oh, goodness, five, six weeks ago, you know, about getting back in the bands. And I know that we did talk about there's a lot of people taking breaks and whether they yeah. want to get back in the bands or not. But um, I know for the likes of myself, it's just a nice getaway just to get out and, and play in a band. Um, I know I had my eye on a couple of other bands to join, but it was just travel uh, to them and time off work, etc. Whereas this is 15 months from my house. Um, I was going to say, it'll be close to where you are, yeah. It's a lot closer, it's a lot closer than North Texas. Aye. Um, <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, uh, the last time I, I took a band over here was 2018 with Sergeant Walker, uh, and then that, that was it. Um, sure, the 2019 didn't, didn't do anything, it was just too busy with work, and then pandemic. So, there you go. so back out on the grass again, then once with the okay. Mighty Clelands, eh? Back out on the grass, Mighty Clelands, and you know, it's it's not so much about uh, what we can do. It's about the learners that Caldy takes the time. He's, I don't know how he does it. You know, he's just constant. <laughs> um, and he deserves a medal. Um, in oh, front. For sure. He's, he's quite a legendary figure, I would say, here in the piping scene in Northern Ireland. Yeah. Churning out, you know, like he'll practice Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. And then he's up to Blackthorn and other, you know, mm-hmm. he, I don't know. He, he mustn't go to bed <laughs> no <laughs> i don't think so well pretty much any event that i would ever go to Caldy's always there before me you know he's, he's there at the door waiting to get in are we recruiting yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but it's good to see it's a young band that's um it's progressive as well but i know um i, I was approached in that time in the banger um yeah uh, mm-hmm. and then that's whenever i was approached and uh, I, I just thought you know what i'll let's see what happens and then i was chatting to jeremy and uh i says uh, you'll never guess what i'm going to be taking on a band again and mm-hmm. uh, look what happened but he's there there you go <laughs> didn't, even hesitate. didn't even hesitate <laughs> yeah, yeah, are, so can i ask then about dunedin as well how are you finding things with those guys um I love it different yeah. band different state and everything how are you yeah, finding it yeah um, well, it was one of those, it was one of those situations where you needed to change in order to progress and their program there is unbelievable. Yeah. You know, what Eric McNeil's doing with those drum cores is, it's pretty, it's pretty nice mm. uh, to be able to go to, a, and I, the way my, my schedule as a firefighter is super open. So I can, I get off work on a, on a Wednesday morning, drive to Dallas, take a flight, land about lunchtime have lunch get settled in um, stay with one of the other drum corps guys and then we'll have practice in the evening from like six to nine eric is there the whole time you know yeah. they're teaching um ian is there teaching them helping with the pipers and it's and then get up thursday morning fly home there you go it's just as handy as that yeah, yeah it's, just a, it's just a handy and i fly in once you know i'll do i'm doing private lessons with eric you know on the side and then um they live stream all their practices that i you know during the weeks that i can't make it so i'll fly down yeah. once a month and hmm. the flights are cheap i mean my last flight was 125 dollars, which is like uh, maybe 100 pounds maybe. yeah yeah you know? no well that's, if anything i wish you luck man it, it is, we have had eric on the show before talking about the program that's there at Dunedin, and it's really exciting I think with all the concerts and stuff as well, man, that they're doing. They're doing a yeah, lot they've always got something going on. They they pipe yeah. on the pier there in Dunedin and their their city supports them, which is huge. Yeah. yeah. You don't find that a lot in the US. You know, usually the bands have to go out and and earn on their own and figure out how to do things. Yeah. But you know, they have the city center there, which is a community center that they practice in and they store mm-hmm. all their drums there. And 
See, that's that's worth its weight in gold. Yeah, for sure. So, well, the, the reason that I have you both on the podcast this week is because you guys are working on something really quite exciting, and it's called is it TNT? Do you want to TNT, explain what yeah. this is? Yeah, <laughs> it's um, it's a public. It's, it's geared towards public safety players. Um, being a starting out as a public safety and still being a public safety player myself. Yeah, um, I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for for events like that. And there was one that uh, went on for, I think, 13 years. It was called KTA, Keeping Tradition Alive. So okay. um, two years ago when the pandemic started, 20, 2020, I guess 2019 would have been their last year. And um, I can't remember if they did it 2019 or 2018. Anyway, so that event is no more. They're not going to do it anymore. So um, I work for the fire department I work for, our honor guard kind of took the reins and, and decided we wanted to do it in our hometown. Hmm. And it's called uh, TNT, which is Tartan and Taps, which we have public safety pipe band guys. And then we have the honor guard guys that do the, the casket watch and fold the flags and yes. things like that for, for funerals. And mm -hmm. so um, we have, we're predicting probably between 250 and 300 participants coming in. Wow. That's nuts. That's a serious amount of pipers and drummers. Yeah. It's November <laughs> and we already have 40 some odd people registered for it. There you go. So when's this actually happening? Then, so it's May of next year is going to be May 18th, 19th and 20th of next year. There you are. So that would be May of this year by the time this podcast goes out. Yeah. Yeah. Time 20, travel thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, May 2022 then. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Yep. So we've got, we've already, we've got people from Florida, Tennessee, California, all flying into Texas. Wow. That are all registered that are going to from know. all over. So, yeah, what are they all... flying in for? Is it like a big performance or something, or is it workshops? What exactly yeah, is it's, it? Um, it's kind of like a, I guess you could kind of call it a public safety winter storm without a solo competition. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, my, I have a big soft spot in my heart for winter storm, but yeah. um, so it's, uh, yeah, Wednesday night is the, you know, we're looking at doing maybe go play some golf on Wednesday afternoon. Um, you know, go to the uh do that and then wednesday night's a meet and greet and then we'll have like a kaylee performance from the oklahoma fire guys oh um, nice yeah. yeah they're coming down to to help teach and to to learn and perform and when um then wednesday all day till about four o'clock is uh is the classroom portion and then wednesday night kaylee stuff and then thursday again classroom and then thursday night more more after hours activities. So go. Yep. <laughs> so we go. Winston's going to be the lead snare instructor. Right. I see. I was going to ask Winston, how are you involved in this project? So you're going over to do a bit of teaching them. Yeah, I'm just going over to do a bit of teaching. Let's say I know when Jeremy said to me about it, um, because at the minute I'm actually teaching the Dallas Fire Department. Oh, um, yeah. And, uh, it's more. It's just whenever. I, I've got involved more and more. I can just see that there is a massive gap um, on teaching the fire department. Um, and it's just maintaining the level. Uh, yeah. Whenever guys go in and teach, you know, you really do want, you're, you're aiming to teach guys that are going to practice every single week. But some of these guys don't have access to it each week. So you want to be able to let them get involved. So we're trying to do yeah. it in such a way that even if they can find 20 minutes a day, this here stuff will definitely help them and uh, progress with their music. Um, so we have worked on the videos. So the videos have all went out with the music. It's going to give them a head start and give them an idea. Really, Rob, the, the majority of the tunes are just going to be three, fours, four, fours, six, eights. And um, for the advanced yeah. players, um, Jeremy's made up the, the great idea of, you know, uh, an MSR. So it's going to be a mini two-part march, two-part Stress Bay, two-part reel. Right, right. Aye. Yeah, just a wee, just an introduction. A lot of these guys don't want anything to do with competition. You will find there are yeah. more, and more, more and more. You know, players are turning to civilian bands and becoming competitive and and mm -hmm. pushing themselves. So it's it's slowly catching on. So we want to kind of introduce them to, you know, some different time signatures, stress bay or reel, and a little jig and yeah. Kind of but that's see, kind of see how much more fun some of these tunes are to play. That's just what I was going to say. So uh, it's not the focus to bring service guys to the competitive world, but it's a little introduction to something a bit different, I suppose, with bringing in a real in this display, you know. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then there'll be a big focus on, you know, tuning and setting mm -hmm. up or and drum maintenance and 
pipe maintenance and, and stuff they can control easily without having to invest a ton of time into, you know, practice. There you go. And t- tone is king, as we all know, you know, yeah. and if, if these bands can get that tone, then it helps everyone for sure. Yeah. So Winston, even bringing it closer to home here to Northern Ireland, we don't have anything like that for our own civilian road bands and stuff. But this is it's an incredible idea. Honestly, all of this. Uh, you're absolutely right, Rob. Um, and I think even more so, it's just to give everyone an introduction on what we do. Yeah. Um, the hard thing to explain to somebody if they are not involved in pipe bands in the slightest, you really, what do we do? We go to a grass on a Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning in a kilt, play a tune and go home. Yeah. That is, <laughs> that's basically it. That is, yeah. <laughs> um, but there's ways of eating grass. <laughs> there is. <I. laughs> but it's the introductory um, of, of, you know, somebody there that has no idea, what, well, why do you play in a band? Um, and this is this is why we're we're trying to do it. Um, it. There's more opportunities I find in America because of the fire departments, and they've got different sort of um, uh, branches. Yes. Whereas yes. we don't. But then, you know, if you had a fire department over here um, that was willing enough to to have a pipe band, you used to have the prison service band. It did indeed. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, you have the police civilian band and the police competition band. But yeah. No, I think maybe there were, if there was different areas and different sections of that public support, it would help. Um, Definitely, yeah. So it's just it's more or less trying to uh, attract pipe bands, not as much as competition, um, as as you know, just playing. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, if anything, I was chatting to you at that Banger event, and it wasn't a competition. It was like a, a showcase thing, and it was open to everyone. And there was a few bands that arrived at that that weren't competitive bands you know and this was a whole new world for them playing in front of such a large audience and they were just playing simple marches and stuff but yet had the time of their life you know what i mean it yeah. was great so yeah. that's kind of what this tnt thing is about too just enjoying the music really yeah, yeah it's gonna be a fun event we've got some really good sponsors lined up um on dante's behind us rg hardy's behind us um and we have some uh, beverage sponsors and things of that nature um so nice. it's gonna be it's going to be geared towards fun with, you know, a side of learning. I so yeah. we don't want to be stuffy. No, that's it. You have a chance to let your hair down kind of hang as well. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. it should be fun. <laughs> you know, because typically when the firefighters get together, it's, it's because of a funeral. It's not because we're yeah party, you know. So it's a good opportunity to see people that we haven't seen in a long time and and kind of spread the love and enjoy it, you know, and there you go. learn learn what you can it's all it's a bunch of adults with with careers that you know are there to have a good time and play a few tunes exactly exactly yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like jeremy says you know for you to have a good tune you need to join a band and it's normally a competition band yeah. or if you want another tune you're only going to have to play in the, the the road and there's only set days that you're going to do that That's whereas it. this is just taking it to a different level a different day and just saying right guys we don't care what level you're at but this is how we can improve the level that you're at up to another notch and then you can you can certainly play for you know another band yeah. or progress in your your piping or drumming career yeah we'll know. have brand new players i guarantee there's always at that when we had the kt event every year there's people that walk up to my booth and they they purchase their brand new channer or their brand new pair oh, of sticks wow. yeah they've never picked anything up before so they're just getting their feet wet but then they can stand around in the evening and you know have a pint and watch the bands play and get excited about. Uh, that you know, sounds brilliant. Yeah. So the, all you're really doing is just opening the door for folks here, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think with the level of interest, Jeremy, that you were already saying with so many signups, you know, it's clear that you're on to a winner of an idea here. So yeah, <laughs> keep us posted, mate, and how it all goes. I, I'm dead excited yeah. to see how it runs. I dare say. Yeah, I will probably see you before the event. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it. Well, I have to say, for full disclosure, for those listening to the podcast right now, as a Bills fan, I'm doing a podcast with a Patriots jersey behind Winston. It's just, it's just <laughs> laughing at me the whole time. Yeah. Like, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. So there we've got that. And then over here, I don't know if you can see, we've got our we've got our plan of it. You probably can't see it very well. It's the markers. Oh, you've down. got a bit of a white screen there. Or, yeah, yeah. We've got a white screen there. And we've got our uh, Dunedin core. And we've got the Cleveland core. And we've got all our events lined out and the TNT and everything. We're looking at that. We've got oh, our nice. kind of attack for the for this season. 
you guys are busy for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Event, I'm looking forward to seeing the Cleveland on the grass once and not all of you guys in action. So, yeah, thanks so much for appearing on the podcast. And yeah, it's great. Yeah, to and, and here, there's there's going to be another special guest coming to Cleveland as well. Who's that? That's another drummer from Oklahoma. Oh, who's that? Tim Vermillion. Oh, really, Tim? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, yeah. We'll have to find a good VIP event to go to the night before. <laughs> <laughs> they go, I haven't seen Tim in ages, so I'd give him my best. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, because a lot of these guys um, really want to try and flavor, because Jeremy's going back to America and saying, you have no idea how good, you know, the, the sort of atmosphere and how good the, the competition is over here. Uh, especially the worlds. So um, some of these guys are now wanting to get involved with our band as much as me going over there. So it's nice just to, you know, uh, get across the water. And I'm definitely I'm looking forward to, to getting him involved. And uh, then there's Charlie and Felicia as well. They're going to be coming in from Michigan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's these guys, you know, they, they just have a hunger for playing. There you go. It's like almost like a pipe and exchange program. That's happening. <laughs> yeah, we keep changing the same people, so it's good. Yeah, no matter where you're at, it's the same people. Yeah, it's it's same people, but it's just it's to give people the experience um, of the the worlds and what the UKs have to offer and what how yeah. the setup of our bands are and uh, the competition um, in the field, but also you know the 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 kids that are playing there, they're going to see what it's like. Oh goodness, they, these people are traveling over, so mm. it might encourage them also to get traveling. Um, I know there's so many in, game, uh, in Germany, Russia, um, Laurent. So mm. it's, it's just getting to the stage, I would say, Rob, of, you know, practice hard and then just go and see the world and, and just go from there. That's see, it, we've got, yeah. We've got, we've got 10, we've got 10 sides up there right now, but we need an, we need an 11th guy from Macrofelt. Oh, right. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Yeah. And Stone Mountain, wasn't it? Yeah, he was standing on a hole the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Playing like a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lads. I was going to talk and chat to you forever. But thank you for joining us on the pod. And please keep us posted on this TNT thing. That's genuinely a great idea. And I, yeah, you can check it out. Uh, TNTWaco.com. They give you the rundown of, of kind of the event and. Um, if people want to check it out, just kind of see if, I mean, if they want to bring it over here, cotton, whatever, you know. See, there you are. The possibilities point, are endless. Like, we don't have the association support. We just did it. You know, it's not an association event. So, yeah. So it's, it was just an idea that has kind of yeah. mushroomed into something huge now. Yeah. yeah. yeah it don't be an idea. Actually, I'm just thinking when Rob's there, whenever we're over there, actually doing another podcast live. Yeah. We can at live, the event. live stream in. Hey, why not? Yeah, I'm up for that. Just give a, because this could be a, just a, a, an idea just to hmm. bring it back home and say, look, this works, guys. This you know, is what's happening. And it's open to absolutely everybody. Oh, fantastic stuff. There you go. Well, yeah, we'll work on that. And no doubt we'll have more updates for you in, in May then, folks. Jeremy, hmm. Winston, thank you so much for joining us on the pod this week, lads. And uh, I'll catch up with you down the road. Thank you. All right, buddy. Great job, Brad. Talk to you later. Talk to you later.